darling Fumi Nation, how are you? How are we? I read in the comments how you guys said, Fumi, we would love to have a makeup tutorial for our 50s. And it occurred to me, why not? Why? Because a lot of you are dating again. You are going out, you are having fun, and you want to be jazzed up. Who else is going to help her sister other than a 50-year-old sister that's been doing this for a minute? So here I am, my darlings. This is the look that I'm going to do for you. And I did this in a matter of, what, 10, 15 minutes? I kid you not. This is your face. This is your everyday face. And there are a couple of tricks I have let out of the bag. So guys, get your pencils, get your paper, get your pen, have this on repeat because you're going to be using this all the time. I didn't put any glass, but you can have lip gloss if you want to. I just wanted you to be able to look sharp, run out the door. And it's all about tweaking. Plastic surgery without the pain and without the coin. Sit back and relax, my darlings, and enjoy this makeup tutorial for my beautiful 50s and 60-year-olds. Girls that are in your 70s, 80s, and 90s, I haven't forgotten you all. I'm coming for you. I am coming for you. <laughs> all of my love. Enjoy. Enjoy. Mwah. <laughs> All right, my darling, so what we're gonna do, you are gonna look at our face. Face, I love you. I love you for all of the opportunities you've given me, this 50-year-old face. And I'm going to dress you up for my everyday. The first point is to embrace yourself, to love yourself. I have oily skin, so I use Makeup Forever Shine Control. I'm gonna put everything down listed below. And so I put this on as a primer to control the shine on my cheeks as well as on my forehead my nose and I just rub all of that in I quickly go in with a stipulate brush L'Oreal has fantastic foundation we're not trying to spend money here we're just trying to look really pleasant for every day and so I use the true match and my number is 11 n so I'm an 11 neutral pretty dark now here's the trick do not put too much foundation. You put on too much foundation, it will crack. These are all the things that make you look not fabulous and it's aging. So you just put a little, very little, and you spread that thin. Now, another trick, guys, bring it down to the neck. You see when you're at church, <laughs> you see auntie <laughs> in front and you can see that she's done the foundation here and you can see the neck is bare. That is one of those aging tricks. Use your brush, use your beauty blender, whatever you have, and just drag it down. You want it to blend into the neck so that they have a flawless, seamless application. That's it. You're not trying to have five cakes of foundation. Forget about everything you saw on Instagram. Forget about everything that I've done. This is what I do when I'm going out. And they say to me, for me, you're looking fresh, sis. The bills are paid. You're sleeping well at night. You look like you're being made love to in your 50s. <laughs> and that's it. That's it. You don't need too much because your skin is extremely important. Skin has texture. Yes, 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 yes. It has pores. At this stage, perhaps some of us might still have acne. Majority of us, your balance has settled. So this is it. Do you see? Not too much. We go in with Juvia's Place. Juvia's Place has foundation sticks that I live for. Travel friendly, no spillage, but they're really good on the shades. Why? Because you're trying to find a shade that's not too red, not too yellow, not too gray. And you just dot that underneath your eyes. I like it because I can travel with it and it gives me enough coverage. Like I said, you don't want too much because you're older now and that's okay. But the point is, is for you to understand these are your limits. <laughs> this is where I come off on the bus stop. <laughs> and you just dab that with a beautiful damp beauty blender of your choice. I can do this literally with my eyes closed because I've done it so many times. I do a lot of stuff for Instagram and a lot of stuff for YouTube. This is for you. 
this is what I do for myself because your makeup has to look realistic. It has to look relatable. And a lot of stuff that we do on Instagram is to show the artistry. Some girls go out with it. And if you're in your 20s and your teens, that's fine. You got the skin for it. But once you're older, you have to respect your skin and you have to take care of it. That's it. A little highlight. I use Benai and this is Topaz. And I have it in this bowl here. And what I do, I just take my, my beauty blender and I just dab right there. You're not trying to kick. That's another thing. It will suck out the moisture in your skin. I just leave it like so. And then I go to my brows. I also add a little powder over my brow bone. Why? Again, I've got oily skin. I have found out the best pencil for me for brows is Fenty Beauty. And I find that the brow MVP, and this is in extreme black, works for me. So I will take a mirror and I wisp. That's what I like, just wisp the brow in front in light strokes and then I go underneath it and I just connect it a little bit it doesn't have to be too severe because remember a natural brow doesn't have that much brow in front of it darlings this is the trick to making your face look open and light your brows are too heavy it's just going to make you look interesting looking not in a good way and then I just naturally take it to the edge like so and I connect very wispy I found that the lighter you go and the light handedness of it all will make the brow look very natural and that's what you need and that is it do you see we're going to top it up but I just want to show you a couple of tricks that I do and again just light strokes on top light light strokes Try and get your brows done. Try and get them cleaned up. Once you get them cleaned up, then you can see where you start your strokes and how you connect. And you try and go as much as you can to the natural brow pattern that you have. That is what I do. See? And then I just wisp, 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 light strokes, and I connect. There we go. That is all that I do. Now, I take a Juvia's Place Angle Brush, which I live for, and I take the NW50. So here we go, and it's a natural brown, because you sculpt your brows, but they don't have to look, you know, extreme. So what I do, I just go underneath, like so, and I just pencil that out. That really cleans up your face. And once you clean up your brow, ladies, for those of you that don't know how to apply eyeshadows, because you've got a clean brow, your lids are fine. You don't need to wear shadow, okay? And I do the same with this one, and it really just cleans it up so that you can see what you're working with. And I go back, and what do I do? I bring that down so that it removes the hard edge because you don't want that. You don't want it. And you just clean it up. And this kind of doubles up as a base. Do you see how nice that looks? It's as if I went to go and get my brows done. I never, 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 never go out without cleaning up my brow. It really, really just cleans up my face. It's one of those tricks that I absolutely love. Love, 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 love. Yeah? And do you see... It's really nice, it's clean, it's natural. And I go back in with a black gel liner. Very, very lightly. Maybe I'll just put a little bit on my hand just to make sure it's not, not too much. And then what I do, I just go to the end just to darken it a little bit and sharpen. And then you take the angle brush and you come back in front just to give it some more color. That's it. Do you see the difference? It's in the lighter, lighter, softer approach in life as one gets older. And you will love it. See, that's it. And then just a little bit. 
in front. There you go. And there you have it. Some might even say, for me, that's too long. Not a problem. You just cut it off. That's it. Just cut it off. And it just works just fine. There you go. It's not a big deal. Voila. And you can use your fingers just to really blend out the NW50 that you used. There you go. And do you see? Nice and clean. Okay? I love this palette. It's a face palette by Morphe. I love, look, it's all broken up. And it is the 8D. That's it, 8D. It is the darkest one. What I love about it more than anything are these three shades. You've got the light, you've got the medium, you've got the dark, which I always use. As you can see, I've hit pan on two and I'm going in with the other. With the medium, and this is for us, you just go in right here, just above your eyelid crease, and you just put a little brown right there. Just a little, just to warm that base up. That's all. And then you just put it up. That's it, okay? You go in with the next, and you go in right on top of the lid. Right, right there, on top of the lid. Where it opens up, you have it right there, okay? And you just spread it out. Now the trick is, you can go in with a black, you can go in with a brown, it really doesn't matter. You take a smaller brush because you don't want what you've done now to be covered up. You take a small brush and you go in with the dark. As a matter of fact, sometimes I will even go in with the black as well. And this is Juvia's Place. This is what you call Chad. It's a gorgeous black, but I don't want it to be too black. I'm just trying to show you what I'll do for every day and what I'm really, really happy with. Okay? With that, I go in right literally above the crease, right into the crease, and I just trace it a little bit just to deepen that socket and give it some shape. Don't take it out. Just take it right literally like an arch, right here and above, and that is it. That's all that you need. Very gently. Do not do too much at once unless it will be very muddy and it will not come off the way you want it to. This is all that you want so that you can see the deepness of the socket, okay? That's it. That is it. Take a flat brush with the same palette, Juvia's. There's a lovely brown tiny shade right by the black chad, okay? The center of your lid, right there. Center of your lid. You just dab that shade there, okay? Just dab it very naturally. That's all that you need. That is all that what you need. That's all that you need, my darlings. You go in with what mascara? And this is Benefit. It is the Bad Girl Bang Mascara. I love it because of the wand. I have small lashes, so I live for this. I wear this particular look every single day. I'm going to come out with my own products eventually. I have a lot coming out, I know. I tell you, I'm just waiting for Adrian to be a little older. He still needs his mama. I'm gonna come out with a bunch of stuff, but Adrian needs his mom, so I cannot overwhelm him by being absent, by working, by vlogging, by filming, editing, by having so many brands. When do I get to see my son? And then you do the bottom lash as well. Very gently. Can you see? It opens up. Ba -ba -bum. There you go. Make sure those lashes looking nice, nice, nice. Go over them so that they really, really, really step out and look nice. Then, guess what? Graze off what you have, the excess, on your mascara and use that brush 
and graze over the brow. And lift your brow hairs up and look at the difference. I have not found anything that works like a mascara wand and I tell you why. The gels kind of make the product that you've worn underneath disappear. This holds it in place and this is like a hairspray. It just keeps it in place and it keeps everything precisioned. I'm going to come out with this product where it's called the mascara brow. Anybody that copies me, girls, we know where they got it from. They got it from this show. But you are my sisters. You're my 50 sisters like me. And I'm sharing you to you what I do. And there, my darlings, is how you have the perfect brow. Do we love? Do we live? Do not worry too much about big, huge lashes. You don't need big, huge lashes. You need small lashes, small lashes. And what you actually need are lashes that you have very much in front and out. That's it. Why? Because as we get older, our eyes become heavier and droopy. I also have hooded eyes. That's why I do that transition in the middle and it really just opens the eye. Juvia's Place is fantastic with this glue. I've never seen another glue like this it's beautiful it's a clear glue and it just works as in it is sticks like crazy and it doesn't take too long it's not all over the place it just works and I kid you not there's no other glue that I like like this Juvia's Place glue and I think it came from the Nubian the Nubian collection I'm using her lashes as well so you look for very light Look for wispy lashes because you can wear this during the day. This is exactly what I do. Matter of fact, how about this? As soon as I finish this episode, I'm filming another episode with this makeup. Yeah. Now, you let it dry a little bit. You turn it upwards and then you let it sit onto your lash line. Look at it and make sure that it hits right there into the lash line. Get an eyelash curler also. An eyelash color will also do the do. There you go. Do you see how your eyes instantly have opened up? That's all that you need, my darlings. Okay? All right. So we're going to go in with a black eyeliner and you go on the outside. There you go. On the outside, my darlings. And you just drag it as far as you can and leave it be. And that opens up your eye. Now I'm going to show you a little trick of loops. Take this brush and just smudge it. Just smudge it so that you don't have any sharp edges. Again, it softens you. Blend it all out. Okay, then you take the other angle brush because these are tricks that I do. They're just little itty bitty pieces that really works. You take the foundation, bam, 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 and then you go and you clean it up. And you drag it down, as you can see. And then you can take another clean brush or a flat brush and you just brush it out. I will, I'm going to bring another lady that's in her 50s and I'm going to do her makeup. Sometimes you guys say, for me, you're a model, you have the cheekbones, so we can't relate. I'm telling you, these tricks will work on a heart-shaped face, on a round face, on a fuller face, on a face that has much more hooded eye. It works. These are the little tricks. This is, this is basically plastic surgery without the expense and the pain. You just lift and tweak things where they used to be. Now I dab. Boom, 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 boom. Because girlfriend does not have time. You know, I don't. Blusher from MAC. Take a blusher brush. There's nothing like a pink. Nothing like a pink. It will just bring you back to femininity. Right on top of your cheeks. Blush, blush. There you go. Right on top. Like I said, my darlings, we don't have time up in the streets. We gotta go. There you go. Skip the highlighter. You don't need it. 
If you're going out at night, okay. But other than that, no. Okay. And then, this is Snix. Fantastic. It is called London. It's a nude. It will take you from day to night to the boardroom, to the school, to your pickup. It works. There you go. I will forever, forever have the chestnut lip pencil by MAC. Fabulous. Go under your lip. Right here. Not the top, but under here. Gorgeousness. You take a brush. Take your palette. I love, I love. And you do a light contour. Do you see it, darlings? Do you see the difference? Light, very light, wispy, wispy. And you go over right into the hollow of your cheek. Not too severe, again, because you want everything to be soft. Just to contour a bit. You can even do a little bit for your head and that just shoom, 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 right there, but not too much. Put a little bit onto the forehead, little bit, and then, onto the jaw. Again, a little bit. You want it to be fluid. I did all of this in real time. And then let me take another brush. And these are fantastic. Ariel times uh, Morphe, fabulous. You take that deep chocolate and then you just go in here. That's when you really want to glam and go out. That's it. And just Really brush it out, blend, 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 blend is your key, and that's it. Eat healthy, my darlings, exercise, go for walks, eat a lot of vegetables, eat a lot of fruit, drink your water, mind your business, stay away from gossip, stay away from negative people. That really is your inner beauty, and the rest you just dress up. Darlings, this is my go-to, 53. That's it. Forget what you're seeing on Instagram. Come to mama, come to sis. This is what I recommend for my 50-year-old girls, for my 60-year-old girls. I recommend this. And I will come out with wispy lashes for you. But you do need a little itty bitty something to bring out the pop during the day and night. And they will not irritate your eyes. This is it. Just want you to see all around. I hope you enjoyed the episode, my darlings. Do not forget to like, to subscribe, hit the notification button down below and tell me in the comment section how you feel about this look, what you want me to do because it's just occurred to me, darlings 50s, we are going to do a whole bunch of segments. I think that it's time for me to also do the transitions of trends to what you can now transition to you as a 50-year-old. But this is your face for wherever you want to go. You're going to court, you're dressed. You're going to work, you're dressed. You're going for drinks, you're going for dinner, you're dressed. You're even a little tad fabulous if you're going to work, run for errands. But when I tell you, they'll be like, is that Cherie? <laughs> is that Miss Robinson? I saw Mrs. DeSalvold. She was looking mighty nice. That's how they talk about you. I'm going to feminize you. Why not? For my 50s and 60-year-olds, that's it. And I hope you enjoyed the little trick that I did with the brows. Shh, it's our secret. <laughs> I'll see you soon. All of my love. <laughs>